What's up Team KBA? Now I know you love a gear haul and you enjoyed the pieces we were exploring from the brand Alpaca Gear. We are back with a second set to explore further into their range, the vertical sling. I'm really looking forward to checking this out. It is the 14 inch elements brief. And finally, I'm curious about the whole hub modular setup. So we have the hub mod panel. This is the max version alongside with some additional pieces that we can clip onto our quick release bar. Now, if you like what you see in this video and you fancy picking yourself up some Alpaca gear, then make sure you use my Team KB exclusive discount code that you'll see here. You'll find the links to each one of these down below. Check out my website at onetechtraveler.com. Oh my, oh my. My man. Hey, you made a permanent home in my head. You moving like a goddess, come my way. My way, my way Your hips on the move Only a real one can do what you do I caught a body, but you was the shooter Damn Shot me down one time, one time you Wanna hug me down a long time Funny how the love can change sometimes So we say Hey, pack up a bago I'm pulling up on you Let me show you my world oh. She told me that I make her feel alive I can see the good Vertical Sling it is X Pack material VX21, a popular choice, and for good reason. It's a nice balance between weight and durability. And you can always tell because it has that crisscross pattern woven into the fabric. On the back, it's made of ballistic nylon, a lot more durable and robust if it's being laid down. And you also find four attachment points for the included strap. I'm always particular when it comes to the zip track and the zipper pull, and I do love reversible zippers. It makes it waterproof and it keeps a clean aesthetic so you don't see the tracks themselves. And it's also very smooth, especially around the corners. They've got a textured feel and it's slightly thicker than other ones I've tried. And that just makes the grip a little bit more pronounced. Also add some nice texture aesthetics to it, or you can loop your finger in to open and close it. Bright orange inner liner, and this has like that square hatched pattern. This might be able to give you a zoom in. And inside, a tether loop. Uh, this has a detachable keyring. You can store quite a bit in here. Now, I'm a big fan of crossbodies or slings just because if I don't want to carry a backpack, I want something a lot more minimal, not obtrusive, or just letting my shoulders relax without the weight. Then having a crossbody, whether it's on the front or the back, is just super convenient to have. It's got a smaller footprint than the wider ones that I'll compare it to. And we have an accordion opening, so it opens a lot easier towards the top for bright access. And then it hinges down towards the bottom. When it's facing this way and you're opening it, it's like nicely presented to you. Fairly okay padded. That makes a total of four compartments in the main body. Feels really spacious. I like the accordion opening and it also helps keep that minimal frame since you don't really want to pack crossbodies a lot. Now, this is the one that I reviewed back when I was in Belgium. This one being vertical has a more narrow width, whereas the crossbody goes completely wide and just for reference, you can see how much wider it is. Unlike the crossbody, there is no zipper on the back, which actually would have been nice to have on the vertical sling. It really like the footprint, much smaller, easier to pack. I've got a zip lock that I keep a lot of my currency in. I've got my travel wallet, which has my passport and some travel cards. I'll put my phone. Now, if I'm going to be away for a while, then I might want to bring like a battery charger. So I've got one of these. I'll put it in maybe the main body wallet just to show you the packing potential, enough space for my cable. And I'll put that in the separate divider. You can see how I've stacked everything accordion style. And now you can also put a Nintendo Switch in here. I'll show you what that looks like. Got the Joy-Cons switch. I'll put it on the back pocket. It's got a lot more space and it's also puts the Joy-Cons in the first divider. Hopefully you can see that. When I've broken it down, separating the Joy-Cons, then it fits in here and it actually looks really slick. Very cool setup to do and keep it all safe and protected away from everything. The crossbody is a lot wider, which is this. It's perfect fit for the Nintendo Switch. So I can keep it all together. The vertical sling, 
amazingly versatile and super compact. You can just throw in your backpack for extra adventures traveling and as a nice lightweight option for carry. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Every time I come around you, baby girl, something doesn't feel the same. You said that I'm changing, but it's really you. I see how you play those games. Wifey type for a maid man. A queen can make moves, a king can't. Snatch you up, now you take it. Gave you bricks, now you build it. A wall up, wall up. Lately, you and I've been all up, all love. love. I don't know what's up with our love. Our love, you forgetting all about us, about us, oh My jolie, oh my jolie Where are you when I need you the most? Now the 14 inch elements brief, just maybe one of my favorites from Alpaca Gear and that's a, saying a lot because they have a lot of great everyday gear as well and the reason being it's very minimal and it's excellent for tech carriers who just want to carry what they need in a very slick system this is maybe three or four different ways you have the carry handle here and it's just a great if you want to pack it in a bigger bag or you just want to carry it on its own we also have mounting points like the vertical pouch one two three four and that allows you to carry it across body also like a backpack and have it facing this way it's also made of x-pack vx21 and we have that ballistic liner on the back uh, this is like a dark green really nice i'm not particularly a green person but it's a nice shade a nice change from the black as well and then you can see like the vertical sling it shares a similar dna we've got the accordion style opening and have that beautiful orange liner that just makes it super bright to see what's inside. This is divided into two sections. So we have a centerpiece here and that creates the structure to help it keep its shape as you open it. On this side, we have all the laptop section and it's very padded, much more so than this side. And we have a Velcro just to cinch it down, tie down the two separate compartments for the laptop and like a tablet section. And then we still have the main body here to use. Two pockets, one above the other. We have a separate one here and they are fairly wide. They're like half and half, 50-50. And then on this side, we have another two and they are 50-50 as well. Phew, now this is a packed and maxed out 14 inch elements brief. Probably more than what you'd want to carry in this considering it's like supposed to be a distilled minimalistic type of carry, but I thought I'd push it to the max so that you can see exactly how it looks like and what I've got inside. I forgot to mention earlier, it also has an exterior pocket on the front and on the back. The zippers are still kind of like a standard type. I'm hoping that Alpaca will upgrade the zipper pulls and update the brief to have the latest zippers. And for me, I'll be happy. This one is a bit more hidden away and discreet. So it's wedged in between the ballistic nylon material. And if you've got it packed tight, uh, I wouldn't put anything bulky, just maybe some small, thin paper pieces and that would just be a little bit more hidden away. We've also attached the included shoulder strap and this is pretty robust and high quality. They've got extra padding and we have some mounting options for their hub clips that I have like the card holder, the hand sanitizers. This is also in a backpack carry style. I like it vertical, looks really cool, but also crossbody or briefcase shoulder mode. Let's open this up really well organized this is the front piece and yeah here we go you can really see all of that uh, so this is the laptop section i haven't used all of the pockets uh, but i do have my trackpad here and that slots in nicely in those wide open pockets have the cable for me it's quite important my travel size stand for my laptop's a bit more ergonomic to work from if i'm going to a cafe even though this is a 14 inch it is packing fairly tight as i mentioned but if i close this you can see it's robust and it will still secure it my 14 inch asus rog laptop also just about fits it's more in tune with very slimline laptops like a macbook but my 14 inch also uh, fits in there and it's fairly slimline too so just bear that in mind you definitely can't be fitting a laptop bigger than 14 inch. You should opt for the 16 inch version. This is also the front pocket. It's probably where you want to put more of the bulkier things because it compresses it in the main. Travel size 140 watt charger. And it's also fairly 
more than portable for a laptop charger, but you can see the bulk fairly tight when everything is compressed inside the zip line wallet and then my normal wallet. And you can see it's still fairly easy to put in because the pocket is quite stretchy on this side. If I keep it down to like the essentials that aren't really pushing the briefcase and more in tune with like a minimal setup, just liked if they had a little bit more clearance and it's where I'd upgrade to a 16 inch if you just want a bit more space to work with or just clearance. And also, this is really cool. I just noticed on the center divider, they have a zip pocket too. And that spans the entire width. How cool is that? That is really awesome. This is enough for like a memory card, just some easy drop-in pieces. I like that, that's a nice surprise. This is a bit more bare bones. And it's definitely a lot more workable. Uh, this is comfortable. It doesn't show a lot of the bulk, still keeps a nice, clean, slick profile. I really like this brief setup. Amazing to carry on its own or inside. Just be honest, the mode is so good. Maybe you get it. No, your mom don't. to the side and get down to the final piece from Alpaca Gear and it is their hub modular ecosystem. Now, if you're not familiar like I was in the beginning, it's essentially a snap-on snap-off system move between their everyday carry to their mod panel. Here in my KBA studio, that's still a work in progress. I haven't got a place that I'm going to set it, but I at least want to show you what it looks like inside and how they snap on. So this is the hub mod panel max. They have a mini version if you just want to keep it to the essential view and we're not restricted to their accessories. We can get their clips and attach anything and everything. Anodized aluminum and it has a ferret steel insert. We've got a 3M adhesive that allows us to stick it anywhere we want. But my gut instinct is telling me anywhere between a 20 and a 25 centimeter in length. It feels a little bit shorter than a 30 and this is the max version. I was kind of hoping it was a little bit bigger, which means the mini might be around 15 centimeters, uh, but they say you can pretty much attach up to six hub pieces. The hand sanitizer clip is an X-Pack material, a secured button, and we have just a typical plastic bottle. This part here that we can connect directly to the hub mod panel, just like so. And the magnet is what helps keep it together and it's fairly strong, I would say, but of course the material is fairly light. Looking at the camera and just placing it wherever and it's able to find its way and attach to the mod panel. So I really like that a lot. And you can either get it as a bundle or you can pick and choose the kind of hub pieces that you want. Or if you want to put your own, then you can just get the hub clip. And the card holders, made of two pieces. The bigger piece that allows you to connect these into the everyday carry and the certain ones that we can attach just the clip piece here. So this holds it and when we piece it, it's got a nice magnet that just directs it similar to the mod panel. So if I decide I finally want to take it with me, then I can just easily pull it away from there. And as long as we've got these clips or maybe an Alpaca's new line of backpacks that might have a slim down or a built-in clip function, then we can just attach these in those places. And remember the shoulder straps on the brief, they're big enough to attach these clips. Now we can have that attached onto the shoulder strap. It's pretty cool and I do like the concept. They're fairly bulky and I'd like to see them slim down, but they do the job and the magnets do hold on very well. Completely went off the radar and forgot about the card holder. So it's a second piece we can attach onto it. So we've got one and now we have two. Three is more comfortable. You could probably fit four slash five, but it's really if they're like small keychains. I'm guessing this is going to be just another clip so I can attach my own things. So I've got another D-ring. Essentially, if you've got a lot of these, then you can just attach anything that you like. When I've put my keys, then I can attach it here. When we have it all fleshed out, it looks, it looks really nice. I'm looking forward to using this. And once I've actually installed it in the studio, then I can comment a lot better on just its day-to-day -day use. 
So there you have it, we've checked out the Elements Tech Brief 14 inch, the vertical pouch and the mod panel system. I think it's a great system that they're trying to build between their everyday carry and the mod panel, moving some essential accessories on the move to home. And I'm hoping that they can continue developing the concept to slim it down and add even more accessories to make it more useful. If you've liked what you've seen today in this latest Alpaca Gear haul, then make sure you click the links down below and use my Team KBA exclusive code that you see here to save some money along the way. Check out my website at onetechtraveler.com. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.